2. We are going to continue with Cartesian coordinates in two dimensions. You will find this on page 135 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to focus on plotting coordinate points. Just the reverse what we did in, the, in part 1. Okay, so if I give you this point and you must plot it. So first draw a vertical line. So draw a line to the x-axis. Okay, so it's going to be somewhere here, negative 1. And then draw a horizontal line at 2, there. And where that two lines intersect, that is the point. And then make a small cross. I prefer a small cross because sometimes if students make a point, they make the point so big and it's not very accurate. So I prefer that you rather just make a small cross and label it P. Okay, so where the two lines intersect, plot the point and label it P. Okay, let's go through the following points. Again, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger to see better. Okay, so if I look at the first one, it was 8 and it was 1. There was A. Then B was 4 and 1. So there was B. C was 4 and 2. D was 7 and 2. F was 3 and 1. G was 2 and 1. H was 2, somewhere there, 2 and 1. Okay, let's just see um, number G. H, 2 and 7. So 2 and 7. There's H. Okay, I is negative 3 and 2. So there is I. J is 1 and 2. There is J. K is 1 and 1. L is negative 4 and 1. M is negative 3 and negative 1. N is 7 and negative 1. And A will again be 8 and 1. Okay. Okay. I want you to do trinal 3, number 1. Use a grid, um, grid paper or graph paper and plot the following points and see what kind of sketch you get. You can stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, I'm going to start. Let's just see if it's going to work out. Um, so it's going up to negative 6. So let's see if this is the middle. Okay, 1. Okay, let's see. Negative 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, I think we can work it here. Okay, I'm just going to... Oh no, it's all right. Um, so let's just do it also here. This one. Okay, and let's just label it. So this is going to be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6 negative 7. Okay. Let's see this one. So this one is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This one is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is going to be negative 1, negative 2, Negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and if it's going up to there, negative 7. Okay, and there's 0. Okay, this is going to be my x-axis, and this is going to be my y-axis. So let's start plotting. So number A is negative 6 and negative 3. Okay, so it will be here. That's A. Number B will be negative 3. Negative 3 and negative 1. So it will be here, and that's B. Um, number C will be 2 and 1. So 2 and 1. That's going to be number C. Number D is going to be 5 and negative 1. That's going to be D. Number E is going to be 5 and negative 4. That's number E. 
Number F is going to be 6 and 0. That's going to be F. Number G is going to be 3 and 3. Um, number H is going to be 4 and 4. Um, number I is going to be 5 and 4. Um, number J is going to be 3 and 5. So go up, up, up. There you go. Number K is going to be 2 and 4. Um, number L is going to be 0 and 6. Number M is going to be negative 5 and 5. So negative 5 and 5. That's going to be M. Number N is going to be negative 1 and 5. Number P is going to be 0 and 3. Number Q is going to be negative 3 and 0. And number R is going to be negative 7 and negative 1. And number S is going to be negative 4 and negative 1. And number A is going to be negative 6. Okay, A is A. So let's just combine all that points. So if we, uh, what color will we use? Let's use blue. Okay, so we're going to go from, okay, I'm just going to use straight lines, a ruler. So A, B. Okay, let's see if we go to C, and then we go to D, and then we go to E, and then we go to F, and then we go to G, and then we go to H, and then we go to I, then we go to J, then to K, then to L, um, then to L, then to M, then to N, uh, then to, after N it was P, and then Q, and then R, and then S, and we're going to go back all the way to A. And can you see the lovely bird? So what kind of figure was this? This was a bird, a flying bird.